Z-Wave is dying. This once popular smart home protocol may be facing its final days. A shocking announcement has rocked the Z-Wave community and could spell doom for this niche technology. Stick around and find out what's going on in the smart home Z-Wave world. So what is Z-Wave? Z-Wave is wireless communication hardware and software that offers a lower power alternative to Wi-Fi with longer reach than Bluetooth. It is based on two-way communication using mesh networking, allowing for extended range. Z-Wave devices can work for months with just a tiny battery, so you don't need to run wires or cables. The lower power requirements and replaceable battery make it an ideal choice for all kinds of small devices like door and window sensors sensors, motion sensors, door locks, buttons, or keypads. Z-Wave uses the lower frequency 900 megahertz band, which enables lower power and greater range than Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which operate in the 2.4 gigahertz and higher frequencies. Z-Wave uses a mesh technology, which means data packets are handed off from one node to another until they reach their final destination. The more devices you add, the stronger the mesh and the greater the reach. Like most tech, Z Z-Wave does have limitations. It has never achieved critical mass in the marketplace. Although used by hobbyists and DIY hardware tinkerers, the only commercial success has been the adoption by some security and alarm company manufacturers. These companies have used Z-Wave for their security panels and some of their smart door lock. It's worth mentioning that most professional security systems use wired sensors anyway. A lot of smart home security systems are installed when the house is being built. Running low voltage wiring before the walls are finished is easy, cost effective, and the most reliable solution. Wireless sensors are only used for retrofit or add-on installs. Bottom line, the market for Z-Wave hasn't been exploding or rapidly growing for hardware manufacturers. Overwhelmed with smart home options? I offer private one-on-one -on -one consulting sessions to help you design your own smart home. We'll work together to find the best products and systems for you, and I'll answer all your questions. Use the link on the screen and make your smart home a reality. Bluetooth Low Energy, or BLE, has been used as an alternative to Z-Wave for residential smart home systems. It's not as robust and can be problematic, but the lower hardware cost than Z-Wave and wide availability have made Bluetooth more popular. Apple, Google, Samsung, and Amazon have supported Bluetooth for a long time. By not supporting Z-Wave, they've effectively denied Z-Wave fans the chance for mass market acceptance and economies of scale. As an alternative to Z-Wave, Zigbee continues to grow and expand. Zigbee has technical differences and uses different frequencies, but it is also based on a mesh network design and low power, suitable for long life, battery operated devices. In today's smart home systems, Zigbee is used by the popular Philips Hue smart bulbs, and the entire line of inexpensive home automation products from Ikea and Acara. Zigbee received a huge consumer boost when Amazon added support for Zigbee devices in some of their Amazon Echo smart speakers by allowing them to function as Zigbee smart home hub controllers. All this is to say one thing, the production volume of Zigbee silicon chips dwarfs the volume of Z-Wave, leading to dramatic price savings for both manufacturers and consumers. Silicon Labs, the maker and sole source supplier for Z-Wave chips, has announced layoffs and staff reductions. One of the people affected is Mitch Klein. He was the director for Alliance's strategy at Silicon Labs and also was the executive director of the Z-Wave Alliance. Mitch is a pioneer of the home automation industry and has been honored in the past with a CDL Lifetime Achievement Award amongst many others. Now, every company sometimes faces belt tightening and must react to the demands of the financial wolves of Wall Street. But when you release the one person directly responsible for promoting Z-Wave throughout the industry, signing up partner companies, and driving the adoption of Z-Wave forward, that's going to lead to a lot of head scratching. But wait, there's more trouble for Z-Wave. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, toggle the subscribe button, automate the bell icon, and then get started on your next smart home project. Over the past few years, yet another low power, 
mesh-based wireless communications protocol has emerged. It's called Thread and runs on hardware that is similar to Zigbee, but uses different software. Apple, Google, Amazon, Samsung, and other manufacturers joined together to create a unified smart home standard called Matter. You may have heard of this. Because Zigbee is so similar to Thread, the Zigbee and Matter leaders decided to combine forces. The Matter Consortium absorbed the existing Zigbee industry group. The new Matter plus Thread standard emerged as the preferred mesh architecture for low power wireless smart home devices. Now the Matter standard is still immature and companies have been slow to adopt it, so the success of Matter is not certain. However, one thing is clear. Behind the scenes, every manufacturer, big and small, of smart home consumer products is either using or considering using Thread as their preferred wireless protocol. This has cut off Z-Wave at the knees, and I suspect Silicon Labs, seeing the writing on the wall, is preparing themselves for the demise of Z-Wave. What should you do? YouTubers ask you to click the like button to beat the algorithm, but the best reason to click is to reward yourself. By clicking on like for this video, you tell YouTube what content to show you. So help me help you and click that like button now. If you don't already use Z-Wave based products, it's best to avoid them entirely. I can't recommend using existing Bluetooth wireless smart home devices instead, as I've had nothing but problems with them myself. Please note, I am not referring to Bluetooth keyboards, mice, trackpads, headphones, or speakers. Those work fine. Only Bluetooth smart home devices themselves should be avoided. For now, take a closer look at Zigbee products. They are very reliable, well-respected, and the technology is mature and affordably priced. You'll probably need to invest in a Zigbee hub to make them work, but companies like Akara are selling Zigbee hubs dirt cheap and including them in several of their Zigbee products for little added costs. Keep watching the progress of Thread and Matter. If they can iron out the teething pains and get everything working smoothly, it's poised to become the de facto low power wireless standard in the next 18 to 24 months. The new Matter standard for smart home has been getting a lot of attention. Does it deserve it? Naturally, I've got some thoughts on whether it will matter. Watch this video next and see if you agree.